For those of you that are kind of new to the channel, you probably wouldn't have seen this yet. These that I have here are called toe plates, homemade ones out of wood. They've got a couple of little notches on either side. I've said I've got a left wheel and a right wheel, but I made sure I picked out some nice straight pieces of board. And the concept of it is make sure they're squared up, even against everything. Your wheel's nice, or your wheel, or in my case, because I want the rack centered, the rack center, which I know where it is. And you run your two tapes underneath the car, I'll show you in a moment and you just measure it and make sure that they're both showing up the same number. That'll be toe zero. And then you can adjust it. I usually tilt it so they're a mill toed in and that's usually where I set it. So I'll chuck it on, we'll see where it's at. I'll do a rough alignment on it. Um, once I got it set up and I'll work out whether I want to chop lock stops off or anything like that, I'll um, get it aligned properly by my mate up in Gimpy, KFC, do a Saturday job, because I don't trust anyone else to align my car. I'll set this up and I'll give you a bit more of a close up rundown of exactly what I'm doing with it. Somebody put a dick on my board. In this case here, as you can see there, I've got, is that 1850? And over here, I got 17.90. So that means I'm towed out by about 60 mil on this measurement. So I'll play around with that, tweak it, and then we'll have another look. All right, here's our result. We've got, we'll take it as if we're going past off this mark. Got about two mil. Over here, we've got about one mil, which means that's in a mil further at the front. So we've got about one mil toe in, which is about what I want to run. And for this, you also chuck cardboard underneath the wheels, and that allows the tyres to turn nice and easy. All right, surprise, surprise, back apart again. Uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop the lock stops off because they are limiting lock. It's only by a little bit, but I've had a chat with a mate and he runs these knuckles. He's running with chop lock, lock, yeah, chop lock stops before. So he says they don't get any bind. So I'm gonna cut them off. May as well get that little bit of extra lock. So. My seeds didn't turn up today, so we'll just do this instead. Officially gone. Looks like heaps more angle. Substantial difference. Gosh damn.
Holy shit. All right, so the wanker knuckles are amazing. Just steering out of the shed, the difference in how smooth it steers is ridiculous. It steers like a stock car, but with so much more lock. It's, oh, and was 100% worth cutting the lock stops off. That made a good difference. Um, it's not a massive difference, but that little bit of extra lock, every bit helps. And it's not over, it's not over centering the tie rod end, so it's not gonna bind up on me or anything. And we're clearing everything underneath. And it's just, oh, just that little flick around the yard, like it's, the difference is huge, honestly. This is God's knuckle, right there. God's knuckle, like Matt nailed it. These things are great. I can't wait to actually get get this thing driving again so I can feel what it's like to street drive it with them and be able to actually go to the track with them because it's a completely different car. It feels so much better. Just the roll center correction kit, you get past about 30% and it start to feel heavy. And once you got past like that 60, 70%, it was like a fight to turn the wheel and you just shave speed. It's, the more angle you had, the more sh more speed it shaved off. It felt so quick in the yard, like it didn't feel like it was being dragged down by the front. So, honestly, I'm happy as. I should have done this ages ago. And as for the height, it's all right. Like, in terms of how it drives, it doesn't feel too bad. The true tell will be once it's actually on the road and I'm throwing it around the track and everything. Just want to quickly add here, during the process of editing this and going over the clips of it actually sliding, from the looks of it, I think I'm gonna switch to one degree toe out, which I've been talking to a few friends, some that have them and some that just in general, and they're suggesting I should try one degree, one mil toed out and see how I like that. So I'll take it for a drive when, I, when it's back on the road, take it for a drive with the toe in see how it drives, see how I like it, change it over. And I'll work out what I like eventually, but I'm really happy with these knuckles. Anyways, I'm not gonna keep this for much longer, but if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And if you've had experience with wanker knuckles and stuff like that, and if you've got any tips or anything for setting this thing up, I'm sure I've got 31 people in um, my viewers. Drop a comment, let me know, like, and you can check me out on Instagram and bills.pro. I've got profiles for both cars and Instagram if you want to come have a chat that's more than just the comment section. But anyways, um, enough rambling. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for coming. I'll see you on the next one.